Okay. Kind of, kind of. Salawan, Malcolm Salawan. It's the brother Yahweh Shapat. It's the brother GMS Mayaka Yahweh. You know, uh, I'm fixing a light, man. Again, again, I came to the brother Yahweh Shapat from the GMS camp of Fort Wayne. Got the brother Mayaka Yahweh with me. And uh, we coming at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to our elders and apostles at Great Millstone who teach and rule well in these scriptures. And peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. To you brothers that's on the highways and the byways, pushing this word out in truth and sincerity, risking your lives and your freedom to do so. To you we say Shalom. And this is going to be um, a various topics lesson, Akim. So, uh... You know, whatever, whatever topics. No, no, you good. I feel good. Whatever topics and precepts that come to mind, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of you. Know, me and the brother, we just gonna kind of pull them out to the best of our ability, man, and, and get into that. Which, hey, you know what we just said was in the in the, in the beginning is, hey, man. You know, when you when you start your lessons off, you do the salutes, you get a you get the elders double honors, the elder apostles double honors. You know what I'm saying? And um, hey man, like 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 we always say, like brothers, most of brothers say, you know what I'm saying? Really, I, I got that from um the elder Malcolm out there in GMS Chicago. Every time he starts his lessons off, the elder always says, you know, uh Shalom to you brothers out there. Pushing this word in truth and sincerity, risking your lives and your freedom to do so. Because coming into this truth, which I was just explaining to the younger brother about this, man. This ain't no joke, man. You know, pretty soon Esau, the so-called white man, is going to roll on brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and hey, coming into this truth is, is knowing that you got to count the cost. Into the, you know, like the scriptures say, count the cost before you come into this thing of ours. Hey man, know that you gonna suffer persecution at one time, at one at one time or another, and and for for us, we know that that persecution is gonna come soon. You know what I'm saying? One way of of, of persecution is that famine on the word. You know because it's gonna all come through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, but that's gonna slow up brothers being able to uh, sharpen each other. You know what I'm saying? That's going to slow up brothers being able to get this word through YouTube or, or just through other through other ways. You know, which is going to be a good thing and a bad thing. It's a, it's a balance to it. You know, upon the family of the word, you're going to have Esau persecuting the word. Man, that's a form of persecution in itself. Can you get that out? Amos 9 and 11, Baba Kasha? Amos 9 and 11. Come Stop right there. Uh, 
And why does it say all the virgins and the young men are going to faint of thirst? And in the scriptures, the verse before that says that they're going to wander from sea to sea. Trying to, can you get that one more time up? From the top. Yeah, well, you, you can start. You could, you could go from the top again. Okay. Uh, Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the day is come, saith Yahweh power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of of Yahweh, and they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh, and shall not find it. In that day shall the fair virgins and young men faint for thirst, that they swear by the sin of Samaria, and say, Thy power, O Dan, liveth, and the manner of Beersheba liveth. Even they shall fall and never rise up again. Kind. So, hey, man. You know, the scriptures tell you that not only are you going to be famished for this word because the script. Why does it say it's going to be a famine of the word? Because the scriptures tell you that um, for it is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. You know what I'm saying? So you get fed when you come to get this word, man. You know, you get the, the, the elect and the one third of being fed. But those who are refusing to listen to this word now and they taking it as a joke, they going to hunger and thirst. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and another, another way of interpreting that, why are they going to be thirsty? Because they ain't going to have nobody to, around them to give them this living water. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna try and get a, uh, I'm gonna try and get a precept for that right quick, you know. Give me just a second, Naki and Baba can shop there with me, please. Con. So this is John. I mean Saint John, seven and thirty-eight. He that believeth on me, as the scripture hath said, out of his belly shall flow li uh, rivers of living water. You know, so if you believe on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, what's those, those living waters that's going to flow out of you, man? That's these scriptures, man. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, because not only are it going to be a famine on the word, but you're going you gonna to have people looking for the men of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, and y'all not going to be able to find us, man. Famine on the word means that it's going to be a famine on hearing the word. And who does the Lord give his, give his word to? His prophets. You know what I'm saying? You know, um, I got another precept I'm going to look up. Could you bring out, because we was talking about the persecution, huh. 
you know what I'm saying, that, that, that that's going to come in that family of the word is part of that persecution. Can you get uh, 2 Timothy 3 and start at uh, verse 10 and stop at verse 12, Bapak Prasad? 3 and 10? Come through 12. Second Timothy 3 and 10. But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long suffering, charity, patience, persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch, at Iconium, at Lystra, that persecutions, what persecutions I endured, but out of them all Yahweh delivered me. Yeah, and all that will give Yahweh and Yahweh Shai shall suffer persecution. All they that will and all that will live godly and Hamashiach Yahweh Shai shall suffer suffer persecution. Kind kind of good, huh? But um I was looking for a scripture, man, I can't find it. But it basically said, you know, people are gonna be asking have righteousness that make it the man righteous have it passed through thee. They're going to be looking for this truth. And what makes a man righteous? This word does. Because this word cleanses you. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to pull that precept up. Um, wherewithal, kind of, kind of scriptures to ask you, wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? You know, and that's Psalms 119 and 9 through, uh, well, that's Psalms 119, uh, 119 and 9. This is Psalms 119 and 9. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way? By taking heed thereto according to thy word. You know, so when, when, when they looking for the men of the Lord, they're going to be asking. You know, have righteousness that maketh the man righteous pass through thee. You know what I'm saying? And, and then they're they not going to be able to find it, man. You know, because once the elect are sealed, the doors of repentance are going to be closed. You know, after after the elect is sealed, the Heavenly Father going to let them angels bring bring nothing but hell on this place, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to pull that. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm pull that scripture up through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Psalms 119 and 9. You got anything, you know, you can bring it out. You know what I'm saying? I got Revelations 7 and 1. This is Revelation 7 and 1. After these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the winds should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels, to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads. And how, how what's a big part of being sealed? Having the names of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. So all you camps out there that's teaching the names don't matter, hey man, y'all lasses ain't going to make it in that time because y'all ain't going to be sealed with the names because y'all don't have them. You know, y'all going to lead a lot of people to destruction. Whoever believes on you, you know, if it be of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, he gonna give them their names. Cause, hey man, you having the names of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, that's a big part of you being saved. Like the scriptures say in Proverbs, you know, the, the, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and are safe. Can you look that up, Aki Baba Kusha? You know, and uh, it says, um, and I heard the number of them which were sealed. It's Revelation 7 and 4. And there were sealed 144,000 of all the tribes of the children of Israel. You know, so, hey, man, we want to be a part of that number, man. Only 12,000 from each tribe is going to make it. That's a small number of people. And, 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 and the scriptures tell you that the children of Israel are what? As the sand of the sea. You know what I'm saying? So that's a small number of people, man. I think it's an Ecclesiastes. What's that? Uh, uh, 
uh, not the, they have not the same power in them. Uh, the names other than Hebrew. Yeah, yeah, that's the prologue of Sirach. You can get that. You can get that. That's a good scripture. So to all you people, man, that's calling on the names of God and Jesus, uh, Jesus Christ, hey, man, the Heavenly Father not going to hear them names, man. The scriptures tell you that, hey, and how do we not have the names? The Lord said he was going to turn unto the people a pure language. And I believe that's in Zephaniah. That's that Hebrew, man. You know, so for you guys that don't deal with the Hebrew, you know, hey, man, it ain't no power in them names, God and Jesus Christ. That's why Esau, when they when they are speaking, even them, them so-called Jews, they call them said they call on Yahweh. You know, they won't say Yahweh because, hey man, why? You know, I'm gonna let that brother get that. So like I'm still looking for it. It's it's in there. Like, you just gotta kinda just hold on. Yeah. It's down a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Right there. It should be uh Right there. <laughs> Pro prologue of Sirach. For the same things uttered in Hebrew have and translated into another tongue have not the same force in them. Mm -hmm. And not only these things, but the law itself and the prophets and the rest of the books have no small difference when they are spoken in their own language. Come, come. So, hey, man, them, and, and even Esau know that. They know his name, power in them names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. That's why they won't even, them heathen won't even call them the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah. They'll call them something else, Yahweh, Yehuda, or, or, or some, some nonsense like that, man. You know, and, and, and this is why they do that. This is Malachi 1 and 14. But cursed be the deceiver which hath in his flock a male, and voweth and sacrifices un unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh corrupt thing. For I am a great king, saith Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh of hosts, and my name is dreadful among the heathen. So them names, Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, is dreadful among the heathen, man. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to catch Esau calling on Yahweh or Yahweh Shah. They hate to hear those names. You know what I'm saying? And to go further into the proof that uh, the other nations are not going to be saved, they, they don't even mean anything. This is Isaiah 40 and 15. Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket and are counted as a small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the isles as a very little thing. Come on. Come on. So the Heavenly Father not dealing with nobody, man, except for the children of Israel. What did it say, uh, 2nd Ezra 6 and 56? For we all come of Adam. You know what I'm saying? But it's a chosen line that came from Adam. And the Heavenly Father is dealing with that chosen line, that, that the, 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 the nation of Israel, man, the nation of Yahshua Arba. You know? And, hey, man, you, you know, you, you got Jake. They want to say, you got some of you idiots out there that want to say that the only ones who are Israelites are the Negroes, so-called Negroes. That's a lie, man. You know, the Heavenly Father has 12 tribes who he's dealing with, and all 12 tribes are not made of the so-called Negroes, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, hey, man, uh, all the tribes got different qualities, and just and Judah ain't got every quality that, 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 that's spoken of in Genesis, the 49th chapter, man. All of those prophecies that, that and Jacob was a prophet, because when he said, I heard other Apostle Har bring this out, when he said he called his sons and told them what was going to befall them in, in, in the last days, man. So that means he prophesied, you know. Uh, our forefather, Yaqua, was a prophet, you know, and he wasn't prophesying to just the so-called Negroes, man. The, the so-called Latinos and Native Americans are Israelites too. You know, this brother's an Ephraimite. You know, and, 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 and going back, even when I watched that Juice, that, that Tupac movie, the movie with Tupac in it, with Juice, you know, you had him and the Puerto Rican gang, his gang, the Puerto Rican gang, they was into it. Was they so-called Puerto Ricans, they the tribe of Ephraim. You know what I'm saying? 
hey man, you know, under the guise of this truth, and even under certain other aspects, you got Jakes that's not in this truth that they 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 rock with uh, 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 the other tribes, man, because they in the world they have you. Well, we all brown, you know. It's, hey man, and, and they call you know you got Judah calling they sell black. They say, well, it's black and brown. Well, it, it ain't no damn black and brown. It's brown and brown, and y'all and y'all are are, are are brothers, man. Y'all of the nation of Israel, man. And y'all and y'all have to come together. You know, in which you got brothers in this truth under the guise of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. We we coming together, man. And me and this brother, we proof for that, man. I got Isaiah 11 and 13. The envy also of Ephraim shall depart, and the adversaries of Judah shall be cut off. Ephraim shall not envy Judah, and Judah shall not vex Ephraim. So right there, you can tell that, you know, in the last days, this is a prophecy that's coming to pass. In times past, you had uh, times where, where Judah and Ephraim, they was at odds. We, we didn't get along with it pretty well, very well, man. You know, you got a video, an old school video of King Masha where it says, King Masha vexes Ephraim. Well, hey, man, we in them times where Jake not doing that to Ephraim no more. You know, Ephraim and Judah is coming together, and we have to because that's prophecy, man. You know, you can't say the 12 tribes chart isn't isn't uh, factual. That's some fucking bullshit, man. Huh. Because the scriptures tell you to put the stick of Judah in the stick of Ephraim together you know what i'm saying you know so hey man you got something brother yeah i want to bring out uh some more proof that you know the most high is not dealing with these other nations and that we're above them uh -huh. deuteronomy 7 and 6 for thou art a holy people unto yahweh thy power Yahweh thy power had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Kind of. You know, so, and who is that people, man? The the, the, the 12 tribes of the nation of Yasha Arla, man. It ain't, you know, like I was saying, it ain't just dealing with, with, with just Judah. It ain't all about Judah, man. All the 12 tribes are not black. Can you look that up in your phone, like your Baba Kushai, and hold it for me, Baba Kushai, where it says, my heritage is unto me as a speckled bird. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, the Heavenly Father, we all come in different shades of brown, man. You know, this brother's a light, light brown color, but he's still brown. You know? I got a Ezekiel 37 and 16. Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it for Judah and for the children of Israel, his companions. Then take another stick and write upon it for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel, his companions. You know what I'm saying? So who are the companions of Judah? That would be Benjamin and Levi. You know what I'm saying? Who are the companions of Ephraim? That would be all of the other tribes, another, all of the other northern kingdom tribes under them. Bring it out, Aki. Jeremiah 12 and 9. My heritage is unto me as a speckled bird. The birds round about are against her. Come ye, assemble all the beasts of the field. Come to devour. Come. You know, and, and, and that's, that's another thing, man. His heritage is unto him as a speckled bird. That, that means we, we come in many different shades. You know, I get tired of hearing Jake talk about it. You know, they... they you would have Jake, man, and make it just about Judah, man. It ain't just about us. You know what I'm saying? It's about all the 12 tribes. Which, um, you know, I, I had seen that it was over 800 different stones with writings in Hebrew. And where was that discovered at, Akiah? What, what were you saying about the... It was, uh, it was over 800... You might not know what I'm talking about. I thought you might have seen it. But I was going to look on Instagram. I seen a lot of brothers uh, posting it. Yeah, I ain't see it, bro. It's a lot of you, though. Oh, you good, you man. I ain't even see it. You good. So, like, how in the hell did it uninstall from my phone? But um, I'm going to look it up. I'm going to try to Google it right quick. While you doing that, let me bring out 
this definition of ghetto. The definition of ghetto, a part of a city, especially a slum area occupied by a minority group or groups. Well, who's the ones that dwell in, in the ghetto? That's us, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Well, blacks and Hispanics mainly because, you know, the, the Native uh, Americans, they on them. On yeah, the they on them reservations. Which that ain't nothing but another fucking word for a ghetto. Right. A sectioned off place for them. Right. And let's see what uh, another uh, definition for it is. The Jewish quarter in a city. Mm -hmm. So, hey, man. That right there is self-explanatory, man. Okay. So, this, I found this. It's an article. You know, and uh, it says, 800 ancient stones with Hebrew writing found in Puerto Rico. You know. So, hey, man. You know what I'm saying? If those people aren't Israelites, then what would they have to do with it, with Hebrew? Why would they be speaking or writing in Hebrew? Huh. Yeah. You know, so, hey, man, Jake got to stop with that dumb ass shit, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, like I said, 800 ancient stones with Hebrew writing in Puerto Rico authenticated. There ain't no getting around that. No, nah, that ain't That's no getting around right it. That's the truth right there. So, hey, man, you know, you, you, know, you, you niggas got to come out of that, out of that fucking bugged out ass doctrine, man. You know? And we got to, we got to realize that we in the end, we in the end. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and like, you going to have a lot of brothers that's, 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 that's going to lose patience, man. And how you going to lose patience? You, you get tired of, well, I'm tired of linking with you brothers all the time, man. I want to link with my